Is your network growing large? Yes. What is the right way to build a campus network? Watch this video. Let me show you. Welcome to the three tier network architecture. Welcome to CCNA 203.01 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 26 3 Tier Network Architecture In the last chapter we were talking about 2 tier network architecture If you didn't watch that video then please watch it before you jump into the 3 tier network architecture In this chapter we will understand the right way to build a campus network by using 3 tier architecture This is the headquarter of Joy Ice Cream Company which is running by the entrepreneur James. He was running this business first in his home and when his business grew up, he decided to move his business into a leased office space. Here you can see there are four access switches available in the access layer which is also called tier 1. The main function of this access switch is to provide the network connectivity to the end user devices like PC, printer, access point etc. Here you can see the finance team is connected to the switch number 1, then the sales team is connected to switch number 2, marketing team is connected to switch number 3 and the production team is connected to switch number 4. So each switch represent a network and each department is connected to that network. So we can say this is the access layer. Then above the access layer we have two distribution switches at the distribution layer. This is also called tier 2. The main function of the distribution layer is to provide network connectivity to the access layer switches. And also distribution switches are used to connect the critical services like servers, network printers, etc. Also, the distribution switches are using for routing, quality of service and access control. For example, if we want to allow or deny a specific type of traffic, we can configure the access control at the distribution layer switches. And if we want to set up any routing, that means moving a packet from one network to another network, that also we can configure at the distribution switches. Then the quality of service. Quality of service means giving a priority for some special kind of traffic. That also we can do it at the distribution switches. So these are the two tier or two layer available in the Joy Ice Cream Headquarter Company Network. And other than this access switches and distribution switches, we have two router which is using as a gateway to this network. Then we have two internet connection from the service provider. So this is the current network setup of Joy Ice Cream Headquarter. Now what will happen when the Joy Ice Cream Company grow more? They need more people, they are going to extend their business, they need a big office space, etc. So in that situation, the current office is completely filled with people and network devices. Now the owner James decided to take another office in the nearby building. So how he can create the network connectivity between this headquarter and that office? We will look into that. Now let's see how James is going to extend his business and extend his network. At this moment his complete business is at the Joy Ice Cream headquarter. And now he want to grow up his business into next level. For that he need more office space. So he leased out another office from the nearby building. Now how he is going to make the connectivity between the headquarter and the new office? Let's see. So this is his new office which is leased out from the nearby building. Now to create the network connectivity between the headquarter and the new office, he need to connect the distribution switches like this. So here this is the corporate office distribution switches and this is the branch office distribution switches. He made a connectivity in between these two distribution layer using any copper cable or fiber cable depends on the distance between them. Now the headquarter network can communicate with his new office network and people can share the data, use the network resources without any problem. Now let's imagine James business is again growing up and he is going to take another office from the nearby building. So he set up another office from the nearby building. So this is the second new office of James from the nearby building. Now here you can see how he made the connectivity between these all offices. Very simple. 
from the second office distribution switches he create a connectivity towards the headquarters switches and again he made another connectivity between the office number 1 and office number 2 so why he created this connection between these two office he created this connection for a redundancy so in case if the link between the headquarter and the office number 2 is broken still the data can be communicated in this way through the office number 1 and hence it can communicate with the headquarters in this way so this is a redundancy link now imagine james set up his third new office on another building so how he is going to connect that network into the headquarter so this is the fourth office building for joy ice cream company and here james connected the distribution switches of the third office into the headquarters at the same time he connected the office 3 distribution switches into office 2 and office 1 for redundancy so that means if the link break between the headquarter and office number 3 still the network communication can go through the office 2 to the headquarter or through the office 1 to the headquarter so in this way he set up alternative path to the headquarters even one link is broken still the network can use the next available link now what is the problem of this kind of connectivity here do you see any problem in this kind of connectivity well it is possible to connect in this way but still this network connectivity is totally mess because there is lot of loops available for example this network is connected to this network and again it is connected to this network then here it is connected to this network and again another way it is connected to this network so it is like a loop all this way it is a loop so in the it network it is better to avoid this kind of loop because creation of the loop in the network that cause the broadcasting storm the data will be passing through all the loops again and again and again and it will affect the network bandwidth it will affect the network performance in a negative way so in this way we can say that this is not the best way to connect multiple local area network or a campus network so what is the campus network basically saying the campus network is an interconnection of multiple local area network within a limited geographical area for example a hospital which is spread over multiple building or a college university anything that connect multiple local area network together maybe they spread in multiple building or multiple floor etc that's what a campus network mean so what is the best way to connect a campus network before we check what is the best way to connect a campus network we need to talk about three tier network architecture so what is a three tier network architecture in the last chapter we were talking about the two tier network architecture it has two tier or two layer one is the access layer and second one is the distribution layer now three tier architecture means it has three tier three layer three area and what are those first of all we will talk about the tier 1 or the access layer access layer is the layer that provide the network access into the end user devices like computer printer access point etc so what we will be using in the access layer of course the access switches because the access switches are the switches that we use to give the network connectivity to the end user computer Now let's talk about the second layer or the tier 2. That is called distribution layer. In distribution layer, we will be using the distribution switches. The main function of the distribution switches is to provide the network connectivity to the access layer or the access switches. Also the distribution layer switches are used to connect the critical services like servers, network printer or any other kind of critical services. now we have the third layer that is called tier 3 or core layer so what is the function of the core layer the main function of the core layer is to provide the fast network connectivity between the multiple local area network this is mainly using for the uplink to the other network so basically saying in three tier network architecture we have three layer and each of this layer has its own function For example the access layer function is to provide end user device connectivity distribution layer function is to 
మేనేజ్ ద యాక్సెస్ కంట్రోల్ మేనేజ్ ద రౌటింగ్ మేనేజ్ ద క్వాలిటీ ఆఫ్ సర్వీస్ అండ్ ద కోర్ లేయర్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈస్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ద ఫాస్ట్ కనెక్షన్ పాయింట్ ఫర్ ది అదర్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ స్విచెస్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద బేసిక్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఆఫ్ ఎ త్రీ టైర్ నెట్వర్క్ టాపాలజీ ఆర్ నెట్వర్క్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ నౌ లెట్ సీ హౌ వీ క్యాన్ క్రియేట్ ఎ క్యాంపస్ నెట్వర్క్ so this is the main building of joy ice cream company which contain an access layer distribution layer and core layer now we have our first office building and from that first office building distribution layer we are going to take the uplink and going to connect to the main building core network so from each distribution switch we are going to take two connection the first connection is going to connect to the core one and the second connection is going to connect to the core two so here from the first distribution switch we are going to connect two connection one is going to the core switch one second one is going to core switch two in the same way from the second distribution switch we are going to make two connection one is going to again to the core switch one and the other one is going to the core switch two so in this way the each distribution switch is going to connect to the core switch 1 and core switch 2 so why we are going to connect like this because even one core switch is failed this distribution switch can get the connectivity from the next core switch that's why we are making here the cross connection now let's go to the next building so here we have our second office building from there also we are going to follow the same kind of connectivity each distribution switch is going to connect to each core switch now let's go to the building number 3 office This is our building number 3 office and we are following the same kind of connection. Then we have our building number 4 office. From here also we are going to cross connect each distribution switch into the each core switch. And now in this way when we add more more building from each building there is a distribution switch and from there we are going to connect the uplink into the core switch. In this kind of connectivity the core switch is functioning as a connection hub for multiple building their main function is to provide very fast and reliable network connectivity to the other building so this is the best way to create a campus network here in each building we have redundant distribution switches even one distribution switch is failed we will get the network connectivity through the next distribution switch here each and every layers are redundant that provide us a secure and trusted network connectivity between the building so in this chapter we have understood the right way to build a campus network by using three tier architecture thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos